What's going on guys, so today we got a new NBA 2K17 trailer uh, And this time it's not about, you know, the ball handling or the shooting or the player accessories But um, it's about a really important topic and that is the courts, you know um, Especially like, you know, the designs of the court, the crowd uh, How it sounds when the ball is driven compared to, comparing, you know, Chicago's court to LA's basketball court So um, this is really, you know, detailed so the trailer just came out, so we're gonna see the good, the bad, the ugly, and the awesome. So let's check out this trailer, man. Let's see what it's looking like. Y'all always make fun of me about my headphones, man. Don't make fun of my headphones, all right? So it looks like they travel pretty much to every gym, you know, recorded all the sounds of the stadium. But first is Portland. And let's see, by the look at, by the look of it though, you know, obviously, you know, Damon Little, but they're really focusing on the attention of, you know, how it sounds when the ball hits the rim. Because every rim, um, it's the same rim, but it's different. You know, um, whether it's the sound that it just makes when the ball hits it or anything like that. And now you see how it sounds when the ball hits the court, man. It's, everything is looking real authentic, man. Um, it's definitely going to, we're going to talk about all that extra stuff after this. But let's just keep looking at this, man. Let's see what they got going, what they got cooking. Obviously, Oklahoma and Memphis. Two very different venues. Um, crowds sound totally different. They cheer different. They say different things. So I'm happy they're really paying close attention to that. Even in Toronto, especially since that's technically another country. And let's see, team specific details. Man, they they did some traveling, man. Oh my goodness. So you guys see MSG Madison Square Garden. How they have the horns. Uh, that's been there before, but I'm sure now it has like a realer feeling, uh, a more actual feeling of what you know the atmosphere there is feeling like. And here you go in uh, Philadelphia's uh, arena, obviously. The Hornets, looking at the Hornets. Atlanta, and you guys notice, you know, um, they, 2K never had this before. You know, when the ball hits the net, sometimes it doesn't make a sound in real life. And uh, they seem to have added that into the game, so that's definitely dope. Man, they traveled a lot, over 15,000 miles. That's a lot of traveling. As you guys see, the horns, every horn is different. Uh, Miami's horn is way different than Orlando's horn and things like that. And of course, OKC, you guys see how it hit the rim, hit the back of the rim and out. Um, that obviously is a different sound compared to when it just goes straight down. So I'm glad they added that into the game. So you guys, you know, could keep checking out the trailer. I'm gonna uh, play it over. But now we're really just gonna break it down, man, see, you know, what, I liked out of it what I think could have been improved and what, you know, people are kind of uh, maybe not feeling too happy about it. So um, that's exactly what, I, what we're going to get into. So one of the things um, that I really liked about, man, and this is something 2K, you know, really never paid too much attention to in the past, and that's really the crowd. Um, this may be the first 2K where they're really paying attention to how authentic each and every crowd is around the country, man. Um, that's something that... People have been asking for it for a long time, and I'm happy they're finally starting to implement it into the game. Uh, that's definitely going to be a game changer, man. I like the fact that now, uh, in this new 2K, man, when you go into the game, depending on which arena you're in, you, it's going to be a totally different experience. Uh, that's And that's basketball, man. Not every arena is going to be the same. You have different announcers. The ball sounds different. Bouncing off the court. All those things, man. And I'm happy they're finally paying attention to detail to those little things, because that's just going to make the experience that much greater man it's gonna make going you know playing in different places more entertaining man it's gonna be fun if you play in detroit you're gonna like you're gonna have a totally different experience with the crowd and the court than you are if you play in toronto man and uh another thing was just the horns uh obviously um you know you guys heard the miami's horn you guys heard msg the organs going off even in philly with the little tune the little jingle and of course in charlotte uh how it sounds different and they're always talking about bus city um, this is really exciting news, man. Um, I know it's different because everybody wants to know what's the new accessories, the new hairstyles, what what are the new shot forms and things like that. But this is something to pay attention to because, I mean, at the end of the day, if you really think about it, the whole experience is, you know, going to a new venue, man, playing in a different court. That experience, I'm happy it's not forgotten this year. And I'm happy that it's going to be that much more authentic, man. It's, it definitely hasn't been like that in the previous 2Ks. If you notice, if you play in in uh, Miami and you played in Golden State, obviously the whole court would be different, but the feel would be the same. When the ball bounced, it sounded the same. When you shot, when you made a jump shot, um, if it went straight down or if it hit off the rim, it would sound the same. And now it's totally different, man. Um, they travel to all the NBA cities, every court, man. They recorded actual live game 
footage and that's how they ended up you know improving this system man so i think that is dope man that's such a great addition i'm definitely excited man i can't wait for this to come out i already pre-ordered it i can't wait i had to get um the regular version i really i was thinking about getting the kobe one but i mean i'm a kobe fan but i'm not like a kobe fan so um i thought i'd just get the regular pre-order um it'll come with 3500 vc and of course since i pre-ordered it i'll get it four days early which is gonna be great. Um, that's just you know new. That's just new content right away, of course. And um, I do have my 2K16 career. It's almost coming to an end. Um, I'm in the playoffs. You guys seen the last episode? If you haven't, I'll put the link in description. And um, yeah, it's coming out soon, man. Definitely by the end of this week that my player series will be coming to an end because the September 9th is when they will release um, the first part, which is like the prelude of my player, where you can create your player. I don't know if you could go through the college part, but um, if you can, that'd be really dope. Of course, I'm going to put it out and have it for y'all. So I'm excited, man. 2K is winding down. we got a week left to wait. You already know, man. I'm super excited. Um, other than that, though, man, this trailer was awesome, man. I liked it a lot. I'm happy they're finally paying attention to the little itty-bitty details that make the game um, enjoyable, man, and for the long run. So I um, hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. I got my Madden career coming out later today so it's a double upload today you already know how i'm rocking and other than that man don't forget to like and subscribe I'm signing out look i got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows million dollar skins and billion dollar i got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows i put my heart in this world cause that's just all that i know